Magandang araw! Ako po si Sir Ariel, ang Alts Lover ng EdTech Unit. Narito po ako para sa isang napakagandang balida at upang magpaalala na ang kinabukasan ay mas gaganda at uulad kung ang lahat ay patuloy na mag-aaral. Sa edukasyon sa ating bansa, tiyak na walang maiiwanan sa pag-abot ng mga pangarap. Kaya naman ang Department of Education ICTS Educational Technology Unit at Alternative Learning System Task Force ay nagtutulungan sa pagkakaroon ng ALS Tech Empowerment Program upang maihatid ang excellent quality education sa ating mga ALS learner and teachers. To easily deliver the lessons from the modules and other references, we will provide tablet PC as part of the DepEd Computerization Program to all ALS teachers and orientation on the use of these packages. To deepen the pedagogical use of information and communications and technology in delivering instructions, there are training workshops on the use and curation of Open Educational Resources or OER, Google and Microsoft Productivity Tools, creation of video lessons using PowerPoint presentations and KineMaster, and on ebook or e-magazine development. To create an avenue for remedial lessons that is open to all learners, teachers, and parents, we will have the e 2 free online tutorial and mobile e 2 where we will visit remote schools to feature the best practices of our ALS teachers and learners. Sa mga out of school youth and adult, laging tatandaan na may pag-asa upang makapagpatuloy sa pag-aaral. May ALS para sa inyo. Ang edukasyon ay para sa lahat. Para sa bata, para sa bayan, para sa guro. Sulong Edukalidad. Magandang araw, Sir Wilbur po, at your service. Narito ang itulay upang gabayan ka sa inyong pag-aaral upang lubos na maunawaan ang iba't ibang paksa o subject. Ang itulay ay isang free online tutorial class na pinangungunahan ng ICTS Educational Technology Unit sa pumumuno ni Undersecretary Alain Del B. Pascua. Ang programang ito ay hindi lamang para sa mga bata, kundi ito rin ay magsisilbing gabay sa mga magulang at mga guro kung paano nila ituturo o gagabayan sa bawat asignatura ang kanilang mga anak o mga estudyante. Sa kasalukuyan, ang self-learning module mula sa regyon ng Calabarzon at kilala sa tawag na pivot ang ginagamit sa ating e online class. Kaya ano pang hinihintay ninyo? Ihanda na ang inyong mga ballpen o lapis, papel o kwaderno at samahan kaming itulay ang pagkatuto para sa bawat batang Pilipino. Sama-sama tayong magtutulungan para malampasan ang mga hamon sa panahong ito. Halina't matuto kasama ang inyong online tutor sa oras na ito. Hello, good evening. Good evening to everyone who is watching right now. Meron tayong most punctual, no? Shout out muna natin si Jamie De Vera Bornolia. Hi po, watching from San Gabriel National High School, Santa Maria, Bulacan. Good evening, Jamie. Hintay natin yung iba, ha? Kamusta? Kamusta, Jamie? Kamusta ang ating mga viewers tonight? We also have Roslyn Centilias. Good evening. Good evening, ma'am. Okay? Sino pa? May mga ano tayo, no? Salamat sa pag, um, pagsunod sa oras natin. Um, you are watching the LS1 Learning Strand number one or the English subject for all students okay watching from las piñas rosalyn centilias okay from las piñas malapit lang sa amin okay good evening po mirasol muñez okay kamusta ang monday how's monday so far i hope everybody is doing fine as we 
traverse <laughs> we go through this week uh, i hope everybody is um still full of energy no to uh, to go on and to proceed to the next day okay watching from lapu lapu city we also have watch where's from lapu lapu raquel monte Rivera. Um, Monte de Ramos, Ando. Okay, watch from Lapu Lapu City Division from Cebu, I think. Watch from CDO Division. I'm from CDO. Mirasol Munez. Okay, hello, good evening. Ma'am Mirna del, del Rio Sabio. Okay, welcome to another episode of our English class. Again, this is learning strand number one for all students or the English subject. Okay, tonight we will be having another. Um, lesson or topic but it's about word language word power okay so this is just um a follow-up um lesson uh what with what we had last time okay mirna del rio sabio als a and e yes antipolo okay good evening also honey red mendoza villa do lead good evening po Okay, welcome. Okay, let's start. Okay, medyo may rami ang slides natin for the last episode uh, for the fourth quarter. I hope many um, our students will be joining us tonight until 7 p.m. tayo ha. Let's start. Okay, word power. Ano, very powerful ang words. Okay. Konting bago lang yan, it could make or break a person, right? But tonight, we will be just talking about affixes, the prefix and the suffix and the root word, okay? So let's start. What are your learning targets this evening? Okay, number one, learning target natin. Ano bang target natin tonight? Okay, welcome po mga viewers natin. Okay, let's start with our target. SDO, Danau City, Brian Manipis. Good evening po. Okay. Let's start with the next, uh, well, let's proceed to the next slide. Medyo may delay lang ang slide natin konti. Okay. Okay. Uh, we also have, shout out muna ako, our slide is loading. Okay. Mirror. So, okay, learning targets. We have to define root words, prefixes, suffixes, and compound words. Okay. To explain how prefixes and suffixes are used. And give your own examples of root words, prefixes, suffixes, and compound words, and form new words by using prefixes and suffixes and putting words together. Okay, may and. Wala nang and. <laughs> and meron pa. Spell compound words correctly. Okay, so these are our targets this evening. Okay, let's start with root words. What are root words? Okay, and root words... When we say root word, it's the origin from where the word came from, okay? The okay, root words or base words are the basic elements in words which remain after all affixes have been removed and which may be form or may form the basis of a number of related words, okay? But ang dami nating English language or English words that derive from Latin words. Okay, Kaya if we if we try to if you observe, um, there are terms natin na mini mention natin yung Latin origin niya, kasi there are a number of words that their origin is in Latin. Okay, let's name a few of these Latin um, Latin words and their meanings. We have the ambulare, ambulare or ambular, which means to walk about. Okay, hello everyone watching from Cuyagis, division of Agnor, Als Nadin, Als Adin po. Okay, dolor means pain. Later, we will know that how, how the words change use by using these um latin words okay dor means pain dormire to sleep hostilis means enemy manu by hand navigare or navigare means ship sedere to sit mere to fear Okay, makit ma may kasama yan sa pag-aralan natin because the next slide will tell us 
na ito pala yung mga origin ng mga words na to that we use casually nowadays. Okay? Meron pa muna tayo palang mga examples. Okay? Look at the first picture. Okay. I'm sorry, medyo maliit yung picture natin. <laughs> yung picture natin, number one. Okay? How is naviger or navigare used in English or how does it um, change? Okay? The navigator's job on board a ship. Okay? So this is to, to navigate, to steer the the, what they call this steering wheel <laughs> to steer okay the wheel you know uh, of a ship okay that's the navigator so when you say navigator that's from the latin word navigare or navigare okay look at the number number two example an ambulant patient okay an ambulant patient means can still walk okay okay can walk out okay can walk an ambulant so from the word ambulare or ambulare, so if you change that into English, that becomes ambulant. Okay, from the Latin word ambulare means to walk. Okay, can walk, can move. Okay. Number three. Look at number three. Number three is a hostile or hostile. Other pronunciation of this word is hostile or hostile. Huh? the two are acceptable if you try to check in the dictionary it could be read as hostile or hostile a hostile person is like an enemy bad okay so like hostile unfriendly okay so a hostile person so when you say hostile that means enemy it's something like not good okay a dormant volcano Okay, dormant volcano for dormere, okay, from the Latin word dormere means sleep. So when you say a dormant volcano, that is an inactive volcano, okay, a dormant volcano. But nowadays, no, about what we used to um, think Taal was a, just a dormant volcano. But ngayon, nowadays, at this moment, nag emit pa rin siya ng ano. It's no longer a dormant volcano. Okay, let's have the next slide. Another word, another example pala. Okay, a manual water pump. Okay, a manual wa water pump. So manual by hand, from the word manu. Okay, Latin word manu, so it means by hand. So it could not be run by electricity. BAS, Integrated School, Grade 7, Zaide from Tarlac City. Hi, you're welcome. Okay, let's have the next example. A sedentary job. So from the word sed... Ano yung word na kanina? Sedere means to sit. So when you say a sedentary or the word sedentary, nilagyan mo lang ng A-N-T, okay? N-T-A-R-Y, so it becomes static. Sit, okay? For a sedentary job means just to sit. So uh, you don't move from one place to another. Okay, na ka, ano, mga secretarial works, ganyan. So mga sedentary jobs, yan, okay? Another, let's have the next picture. Another example, a dolorous incident. Dolor means, a uh, dolor is the root word of dolorous. Dolor means pain, okay? A painful. So dolor, dolor, dolorous is not a, a good word, the meaning, okay? So it's a painful incident, painful um, happening, okay, like this. Painful event, okay? Last one is timorous prison. A timorous, uh, like timorous from the Latin word timere means fear, Okay, a, a timorous person, something like that. A person who is afraid. Okay? Yan. These are the words. Medyo hindi masyado yung mga words natin ngayon. Hindi siya araw-araw natin ginagamit. But, you should familiarize these words. Okay? Very recommended uh, that we uh, should know new words a day. Okay? Huwag mong hayaan na wala kang natutunan isang araw. Okay? At least man lang your goal is to have one word per day. Okay? One word per day. Mami, isingit ko pa ba yan sa schedule ko? Yes! Ang gusto maraming paraan. Right? Okay? But if you want to be, to flourish yourself, if you want to level up man tayo every day, level up tayo konti, 
So have a goal to have one word a day. Word for the day, okay? So next natin, ang dolorous pala, no? Dolor. Dolor means pain. Ay. Okay, tell me yes or no, ha, sa ating mga viewers tonight, okay? Yes or no, number one. Is it the navigator's job to clean the ship? Okay, patingin na natin yung mga answer natin sa comment section. Is it the navigator's job to clean the ship? Okay, patingin na ang mga answer ninyo para ma-shout out po yung names nyo. Tingnan natin kung may, nandito pa yung mga viewers natin. Okay, yes or no only. Okay, hello everyone from Puyagas. O, oh, Puyagas yan. Tarlap, okay? What is the answer for number one, yes or no? Okay, the word used there is the navigators, the navigators, okay? So, what is the answer for number one? So, is it a yes or a no? No! Wow, very good. Mirna Del Rio Sabio, okay? Is it the navigator's job to clean the ship? No! Is his job, the navigator's job is to, to guide or to, to move the steering wheel of a ship. Okay, number one, very good number. One is no. Number two, can an ambulant patient walk around? Okay, ambulant patient, patient. Ambulant patient naman, eh, no need to worry. Mm -hmm. Ambulant. An, can an ambulant patient walk around? Yes or no? Number two, tinan natin yung mga, ano, keyboard warrior. Nak nak nakuha ko yung term na yan, yung... <laughs> Yung session before mine. Ang mga keyboard warrior, mabilis magkada sa keyboard. Number two, yes. Mirna, Rosalyn pa lang nauna. Rosalyn Centillas. Okay, yes. Very good. Yung mga keyboard warrior, mabilis mag-type. Okay? Number three, is a hostile person easy to get along with? Number three, kindly comment your answer, yes or no. Is a hostile or hostile person easy to get along with? Remember, the word hostile comes from a Latin word. Hostilis means an enemy. Okay? No! Very good. Mirasol, Muniz, Mirna. Ayan, may mga ano tayo top 2. Ay, may, may top 5 tayo tonight. No? Magka top 5 tayo ngayon. Okay? Number 4. When a volcano is inactive, can we say it is dormant? Number 4. When a volcano is inactive, can we say it is dormant? So, are the words inactive and dormant synonyms? Yes! Very good, Mirasol. Number four is yes. Okay, pag dormant, sleeping. So, if it's inactive, so no activity. Okay? That is happening. Number five, does a manual pump work by means of electricity? Number five, manual means hand. So, a manual pump ba work by means of electricity? Number five is? Ano? No! Very good! Mirasol Muniz. Okay? Mirasol Muniz. Okay, number five. Oh, number six. Sorry. Does the sedentary job of Mang Ambo make him walk from one building to another? Ano kaya? Okay, no. Gold Arrow March. So, may bago tayong ano, commenter. Very welcome. Gold. Okay. The sedentary job of Mang Ambo? Anong answer ng number six? No. Because sedentary means just to sit. Still. Okay, no. Very good. Is a dolorous incident a joyous one? Ano yan? Number seven. Number seven is a dolorous incident. Joyous ba siya? Number seven. May I see the... Co no! Very good. Marasol. Si Marasol, ano siya? Keyboard warrior. At ang bilis siguro ng wifi ni Trisha. Mabilis ang grain. <laughs> no? Kahit may ma malakas ang, ano, ang wifi. Kung alam mo yun yung registry ng brain, medyo mabagal. Okay? But this time, ang dami nating mga, mga viewers natin ngayon, ngayon mga di lang keyboard warriors, mga ano, ma mabilis ang utak, mabilis ang isip. Okay? Would you say number seven is? No. Very good. Mirna, Rosalind, Mirasol. Yes. Okay? Number eight. Would you say that a timorous person is afraid? Timere. Timorous from the Latin word timere means afraid. Okay, what is not the answer for number eight? Yes or no? 
Yes, yes, very good, Mirasol, <laughs> Rosalind, Centilias. Okay, let's proceed to the next, okay? Le okay, the, we still have one more. Kasi the Latin word, manus. Ang dami pala niyang na-create na, na, na words in English. Okay, so let's find out from yung manus pala, can create or okay, created. Um, how many? Five words that come from the Latin word manus. We have emancipate, means to set free or to liberate. Manipulate means to operate something skillfully. Manual, a book of instructions. Mandate, an order. Manacle, a handcuff. Oh, see, out of the Latin word manus, and dami na, and dami niyang nakreate. Okay, let's find out. Try natin, paano natin gamitin yan in sentences. Okay, look at the next slide. Tignan natin. Watching from SDO Apayao, Leonardo Jr. Lazaro. Okay, look at this. Number one. I'm glad I finally learned how to blank the buttons in that machine. What should be the word for number one? I'm glad I finally learned how to blank the buttons in that machine. Ano kaya po? Nena natin mga keyboard warriors natin. Number one, what's the answer? Emancipate, manual, manipulate, mandate, manacle. Okay, ano, what's the answer for number one? I'm glad I finally learned how to blank the buttons in that machine. Wala, wala tayong ano, commenter for number one. Tingnan natin. Medyo delayed lang siguro. Okay, what's the answer for number one? I'm glad I finally emancipate the buttons. Uh, nice try. What? One more. One more try. More. Manipulate. Mirasol. Manual. I'm not sure. Okay, Rose, it's okay. No problem. Okay, no worries. Okay, number one is manipulate. Okay, I'm glad I finally learned how to manipulate. Manipulate means to 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 uh, operate ma uh, skillfully manipulate is the right word for number one i'm glad i finally learned how to manipulate number two what's the answer for number two the accompanying teachers blank really helped me this past year okay what's the answer for number two emancipate manual manipulate mandate manacle okay what's the answer for number two and anong answer natin sa number two? It's teachers. Teachers manako. Teachers. Number two is teachers manual. Okay, teachers manual for number two. Okay, meron na nga siyang apostrophe yung possessive form ng word, ng noun. Number three, the policeman used blank on the criminal so he could not get away. Okay, it's very easy. Number three, among the five answers, among the five, what is the, the correct word for number, number four? Uh, number three pala, the policeman used blank. Number three is, what's the answer for number three? It's number three is manacle. Okay, manacle. Medyo delete ang ano natin. Okay, manacle. That's it. Meron tayo <laughs> si Sir Adriel. Okay, number four. The king issued a blank to his subjects. They should all bow before him. What's the answer for number four? What's the answer for number four? Okay, number one is manipulate. Okay, number four tayo. That's correct. That's correct. Ano? Number four is mandate. Okay, cherubim. Cherubim. Okay, manipulate. Number five, the goal of the new president is to blank all Filipinos from poverty. What's the answer for number five? Ayan, pumasok na Fatima de Leon. Okay, number five is very easy. That is to emancipate, to set free, okay? The Filipinos from poverty. Sana nga, no? Okay, emancipate. Okay, that's next. That's correct. Number, next slide tayo. Okay, let's go to the affixes na. From root words sa gitna, from root word, we could um, make another word or words that would change the meaning, of course, by attaching an affix. 
An affix could be a prefix or a suffix. Okay? Affixes are word form forming elements of one or more syllables which can be added to words to, for, to form other related words. Okay? Let's continue to the next slide. Okay? Emancipate. It's correct. And ito pa ba tayo sa mga ano, viewers natin? Okay, prefixes are letters or group of letters that are added at the beginning of words to form new words. Kung sinong nalalagay natin yung mga letters before the word, okay? Let's have another example. Let's have examples na. Okay, the prefixes are letters or group of letters. Okay, common prefixes. Nalalagay nito sa before sa root word. Look at. D, okay, or away or down. May mga words, may mga meaning ang mga prefixes natin, ha? Of course, para, ano, lahat may meaning. Parang dictionary may meaning lahat ng bagay, okay? Re means back or again. Pro, before, in time or place, in favor of. Trans means across. So these are common prefixes, okay? Common. Parating natin na na-encounter to. Okay? Hindi ko maintindihan yung binasa ko. Hindi, i-re-read mo. O, ginamita mo na yung gray. So, nag-prefix ka na. O, i-re-read mo na. Okay? O, i parang repeat. Okay? Pa, e, parang re-read, repeat, repeat the, the reading, something like that. Okay? So, these are common prefixes. Let's go to the next slide. Tignan natin yung next slide natin. Okay, look at this. The job. That job is impossible. Okay? So, the root word there is possible. And the, the prefix there is im. Okay, prefix. The paper is published by monthly. So there are two affixes here. Meron tayong prefix, meron tayong suffix. But this time, we will be just looking at the prefix. So do we have the by as the prefix. Number three, I failed the pretest. So the pre there is the prefix. Number four, let us recycle all our waste materials. So re. And then the cycle is the root word. Okay? Let's continue to the next slide. Okay, look, let's read. These are some of the examples of words with prefixes. Incomplete, immortal, inexpensive, impolite, impure, invisible, impractical, unafraid, distrust, irrational, disloyal, unharmed, dishonest irresponsible, irregular. So see, you notice that I underlined the prefixes. Okay? So nag-iba yan means not. Okay? Yung mga prefix na gamit dyan ay means not. So meaning incomplete, so not complete. Not mortal, not expensive, not polite. Okay? Sabi like that. Okay? Let's have the next slide. More examples tayo. Okay? <laughs> Roseline's accent mo talaga ako natututo mama. <laughs> okay. Okay, back to lesson. Oh, back to lesson. Okay, let's practice. Okay. When a man is blank, ported, port, he is sent out of the country. So the answer for that is deported. So we are using now a word with prefix. Okay, number one. Look at this. Give me the answer. To carry products from one place to another is to blank them. Hala, ano kaya ang lalagay natin dyan? Ano lalagay natin na prefix para ma ma makakreate tayo ng, uh, what do you call this, meaningful word that fits to the sentence. Okay, to carry products. Very good, trans. Okay, transport. Okay, deport yung, gana, yung example. Okay, to transport them. Look at number two. That's correct, Mirasol. Did you come across a difficult word in the sentence? Okay. Pag nakakuita ka ng mga difficult word, what are you going to do? Blank. Read the sentence so you can get its meaning. Re. Reread the sentence. Okay. That's correct. Number three. A short explanation or event before the main part of the story is called a blank. Ala, ano kaya yan? Ano yun? Usually, it is located in the beginning of a novel. A beginning of a book. Okay? Ano yung word na my... Ano, what is that word na my log? Or log? Okay? Monolog? Relog? Translog? Relog ba? For number three? Relog? Meron tayo kanina. Yung lista natin kanina. Prolog! Okay? Prolog. That is Mirasol. Prolog. Okay? Ariel, Daya, Daya. <laughs> Diarrhea, okay, the prologue. It is, uh, it's like, um, 
the the preview of the whole thing inside the book okay that's number three a prologue okay number four let's have another another example let's practice okay let's have this the product okay we have here the suffix says sub and ab sub means below ab means from or away from okay look at this the product was rated below standard so instead of saying below standard what are you going to use what word can you change or can you can you uh what do you call this can you replace the below standard to make it just one word yes substandard okay <laughs> okay substandard it was a substandard product substandard very good cherubim mirna mirasol okay very good mga ano natin munti ko nang sabihin prayer warriors <laughs> keyboard warriors <laughs> keyboard warriors wala natin okay number two number two let's have another example okay read ha huh? so we have the prefixes re and the this after dr rivers examined with josie he advised her not to continue using the medicine so instead of using not to continue what should be the word for that okay josie was advised to blank continue using the medicine so it's a simplified term na talaga once you know how to use prefixes hindi mo pinapahirapan ang sarili mo so discontinue using the medicine okay so it is very advisable to use uh, affixes or you could use prefixes to make or to simplify the sentence okay discontinue mirna meron pa tayong sino si humana si dick arasad hi good evening here next discontinue is the right answer number three Number three natin, tingnan natin yung number three natin. Discontinue, Shirobin. Okay, we have the un and the er. The bus trips to Barrios were not regular. So instead of saying we're not regular, what should be the term for that? The trips were so blank that the merchants cannot predict when the goods they ordered would arrive. So what is the right word for that? So instead of we're not regular. So... Be careful also with the spelling, huh? When you use these words in writing. So most most of the time, once you use affixes, nag-iba, of course, yung spelling. So be careful, okay? I hope we have another lesson for that, na yung spelling lang. How to form words with prefixes and suffixes. Good evening, humana. Okay, humana or humana. Okay, humana. Okay, the answer is irregular. Mirasol, Mirna. Okay, number four. Let's have number four. Okay, ear. Yes. Inter and then trans. The new airline company is offering several flights daily across the Pacific. Okay, so instead of saying across the Pacific, what are you going to use? The new airline company has several blank Pacific flights. So the answer is very obvious. And do know who's letter A. Okay. Let, uh, now that, what is the answer for number four? So that is trans-Pacific flights across, not inter, across lang. One way. Uh, no, one destination. <laughs> trans. Tawid lang. Tawiran. Okay, number five. In, no, enter. No, no, it's trans, trans Pacific. Okay, good. Still good. Number five. Let's have number five. Ito, inter and in. Ambassador Romulo attended a conference among different nations. So instead of saying among the different nations, you may say he attended the blank conference. Simplified, no? Mas nalang yung naiintindihan once you use the, ano, once you use the, yeah, international conference, once you use the prefix. So, prefixes are very important, very useful in the English language, okay? It simplifies the word or the meaning of the sentence, okay? The Lanzona, we have the un and the dis. The Lanzona's trees and their orchard have not been productive for the last two years. The Lanzona trees are blank productive. What's the answer for number six? What's the answer? Answer for number six? Very easy lang yan. The answer is un. Un. Merasol. 
Munyes. Okay, unprotected. Next, number seven. Ah, meron pa ba tayong number seven? Tingnan nga natin. Wala na ata. Ah, uh, meron na also. Okay, we still have number seven. Re and pre or pre. The news about the plane crash was broadcast again by the same radio station. So instead of broadcast again, so how are you going to how are you going to change the word now or simplify the word now for number seven? So the news was again repeated. Anong dapat like rebroadcast over the same airline 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 <laughs> over the same airline? Okay, same radio station. Okay, then the answer is Ray. Number eight, that's I think the last um, exercise for this. This and miss. The contestant gave the wrong interpretation to the question. The contestant blank interpreted the question. Number eight, the answer is Hi, Mercy La Chama. La Chama. Tuyan, Rosalind. Si Rosalind parang ano to? Rosalind. Uh, uh, familiar. Kasi parang siya, uh, parati to na umaten sa sessions natin. Every Monday, 6 p.m. The answer is miss, misinterpreted. Very good, Marisol, misinterpreted. Okay, let's proceed to the suffixes. Kung ang prefix ay before, let's have the next slide. Hi, <laughs> Mercy. Suffixes are letters or group of letters that can be added at the end of the words to form new words. So, gitna. Before, after na tayo ngayon. Okay? So it's suffixes. Okay? Let's have common. Okay? Suffixes. Look at the word. We have the root word help. From the root word help, we could create by using suffixes. We could create helps. Helpful. Helper. Helping. Help. Meron tayong, ano ba yung boggle? Ba yung na, 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 na game? May game nito na ano, iparamihan ng word out of a given word. Boggle ba yun? <laughs> I'm not sure. Yeah. Uh, so, out of one word, with the help of suffixes, we could create many words from one origin, from one root word. Okay? So, that's the use of suffixes. Nag-simplify pa rin siya. Instead of making long word or long sentences, we could make it simpler by using the suffix or the suffixes. Next slide. <laughs> Inahabol ko na kami ko natutunan. <laughs> okay. Natatawa ko sa'yo, Rosalyn. Centillas. Okay, these are the common suffixes. O-R-E-R. -E -R. Pag tao, no? Lagyan natin ng O-R, nagiging actor. Interpreter. Trainer. Ayan. Is also someone, still a person. Someone who carries out some activity or practices, some art or profession. Is I S T. Nilalagay yan sa after ng root word. A R Y, airy or airy, a place for something. Okay? So these are the common suffixes. Next slide. Next slide. Okay, let's practice. A person who acts or performs on stage is an actor. So from act, lagyan mo ng O R that becomes. Another word, another meaning, actor. Number two, an orchestra leader is called a blank. What's the answer for number two? What's the answer for number two? That is, good evening, Sir Wilbur. Sir, Sir Wilbur ba to? <laughs> Anti, Kamara. Anti Kamara. Okay. Yes, conductor Marasol. Very good. So that because a person from... Uh, from a verb, lagyan ng O-R, that becomes a person. See how powerful suffixes are? Nag-iba yung meaning ng word. A person who manages a library is called a li librarian. Librarian. Okay, very good. Gerald Osteri Valdez. Ay, may rami. Dumadami ang ano natin na mga keyboard warrior. May mga bagong names. Mga commenter natin. Hunter. San si hunter? Okay, one who traps or hunts animals is a hunter. Very good. Ay, mas mabilis itong isa kasi nag, nag advance siya ng mga, ng, 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 ng items. Okay? So, one who traps or hunts animals is a hunter. Leonardo da Vinci is a great artist. Okay, artist. Okay, artist. 
Pitoy Moreno is a well-known fashion. Ay, very easy na to. Fashion designer. Okay. Ay, nauna talaga to si Gerald Ustare. The new instructor is very punctual. Instructor. Okay. So, this instructor. Okay. <laughs> Hunter to yan, Rosalyn. Okay, next. Next slide. Okay. Hana. Next slide tayo. Okay. Ayan. Malapit na tayong matapos, ha? But, ay, wala pa palang sa... <laughs> Maybe still have few slides left. Okay? Uh, dumadami ang mga ano natin keyboard warriors tonight. Okay? Thank you so much for waiting for me, ha? Hanggang 7 tayo. Or baka before 7, matatapos na tayo. Okay? Let's have this. So, able and able. Okay? Able and able. The hole in his pants are very... Or is very... Noticeable. Okay. Very good. Noticeable. Able. Mirna. Yan. Si Mirasol. Is that horse? Oh. Notice. Manageable. <laughs> Malo. Ay, ito talaga. Certified keyboard warrior. Ito si Gerald. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Perfect. <na. laughs> Manageable. Jacket is reversible. Nena is sensible. Okay, very good. Manageable, Wilbur, uh, Mirna, manageable. Okay, sobrang, ah, iwan nga, sorry, ma mercy. <laughs> sobrang laliitan nga. Sensyo na, oo, medyo maliit talaga. That's true. Okay, next. Palakihan natin yan next time. Eh, bakit naman, oh, maliit na naman siya, pasensya na. For those who... Ay, lumaki na. Ay. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sir Ariel. Okay, look at this. Mint and O-U-S. The two brothers had an... What is that? Okay. Ar ar argue? It's very easy lang. Argument. Okay, argument. That's correct. Number two. Number two. Tingnan natin number two. What is that? that? Mira... What's number two? Miraculous. <laughs> Miraculous. Okay. Number three. Okay. Fortune flower. Ay, ganda ng name na yan. Fortune flower. Argument. Argument. Okay. That's number three. Punta tayo sa number three. Number three is mysterious. Okay. Mysterious. So, be careful with the spelling, ha? Huh? Number five. Eh, number four is the judgment. Miraculous, uh, miraculous, Mirna, mysterious, Mi uh, judgment, okay, of Chief Justice Watson is fair. Thank you so much. Nag nagiging, ano, na nagiging, nagpupush yung mga comments niyo, meaning you are interacting with me, okay? I'm so thankful for that, for our last session for the fourth quarter, okay? Good morning, good morning na Ma'am Gina, okay? Good morning, good evening, ma'am. L Y full and less. Okay. Tina natin kailangan na i ano no? I tina natin yung uh, definition niya. Kasi pag L Y in a particular way, full, of course, full less is of course free from. Maliita naman siya, pasensya. Okay, number one. If it rains, I will probab Probably. Very good. Number one is Ma Mirna. Mirna del Rosario. Del Rio Sabio. Probably. Number two is thankful. Mirna del Rio Sabio. Number three, don't feel so hopeful. Okay, probably. Yan. Complete talaga yan. Number four, put the baby down. Sino na una sa gently? Gently. Thankful. Camille. Hi. Good evening po. Mercy, okay, gently, okay, shut down gently, okay, that's correct, okay, L-Y, Mirasol, okay, oh, they, we are already in the last slide, let's remember, root words are the basic elements in words which remain after all, so meron tayong root words, simplify la lang natin ha, so pag may root word, gusto mong lagyan ng prefix to make it the it's simpler, simplified, mas madaling maintindihan, lagyan mo ng prefix. Okay? And suffixes are letters or group of letters that are attached after the root word. Okay? So, prefixes are letters before and suffixes after. Okay? 
let's have the next slide. Next slide natin. Ay, sorry, last na pala yun. Na, parang nabilisan pala natin ng mga slides. I thought I have enough slide slides this evening. But um, sumatotal, I'm very thankful for my audience tonight. Salamat po pagsama sa akin. Thank you so much for um, st spending um, 45 minutes with me. Okay? 48 minutes with me. Okay? I'm so thankful. Um na meron at meron talagang bumabalik sa time ko every 6 p.m. Monday. So again, this is our last session for the fourth quarter. I hope you will still um, support the Itulay for the next school year. Okay? Sa, sa next school year tayo ha. I enjoyed Ma'am Yana Del Rio. Thank you po. Thank you. Jean Octa Lozande. I think to sumang Ma'am Noreen, thanks much. Almirasol Munez, okay? Thank you so much for waiting for me. Kahit hindi natin umab ni tayo umabot ng 7 p.m. But still, I enjoyed the session tonight. Please continue supporting Itulay. Again, ha? This is our final week, but meron pa tayo bukas hanggang Friday, okay? And then, we're looking forward to see everybody for the next school year, sa next school year. Okay, goodbye ma'am. See you next week. Goodbye also. And tomorrow, meron pa tayong ALS. Of course, ito live for us from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. That's still every day, okay? Please support ito live from Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Okay, I hope to see you once again next time. So, thank you so much. Good evening. Good evening. And then... See you, see you around. <laughs> Sanet. Okay. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Shall we call this a, a day already? Bye. Bye, Jun Zain. Marisol, more power. Deb, 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 Itulay. Jumana. Okay. Thank you. Gerald, Gerald Ustare. Ito mga pre, ano natin? Warrior, keyboard warriors. Goodbye. See you next time. See you next week po. Yes. Meron pa tayo mga susunod na mga sessions. Goodbye, everybody. Stay safe.